Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a little photo booth using the Raspberry Pi. Um, in this, uh, to follow along with this, you will have had to have installed the Apache server and PHP on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, in a previous tutorial, I actually explained how you can do that, and I'll create, uh, make sure I have a link in the description of this video uh, if you need to um, go ahead and do that. Um, you'll also need the camera module, um, which I have also have a link to where you can purchase that. Um, just so you see, that's this thing here. Uh, I have, for this tutorial, I actually have um, this little Adafruit touchscreen. That's not necessary, though. That's just something I um, was, have been playing around with. And frankly, if you're not good at tinkering, I would stay away from it because it, it uh, needs its own operating system and drivers and whatnot. Um, uh, but if you don't mind it, it's kind of a fun little screen to have. Um, I just wanted to make it as compact as possible, so I used that and put it on this little 3D printed uh, monitor case that I made. Um, left some space over here to put a battery and stuff in. Um, All right, so I'm gonna SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I need to run this CH mod um, to make it uh, this directory directory writable. This is uh, the dev forward slash um, VCHIQ. is related to accessing um, Oh, there we go. You have to use sudo on this because this is a, uh, a root level access of this directory. This allows us to use the camera and uh, in the capacity we want to use it. And so I'll go back to here and I'll kind of give you an example of how this works. So I made this little nifty interface. I'm going to share with you these files. Um, you know the key here is there's three files that you need to make one is just home page that really just needs two links one two to take a photo and then one to the gallery and so if we click on the take a photo see the camera red light came on it actually should be taking a photo it takes a couple seconds to then forward you oh, there it is there's the photo that we just took um, kind of cool right and so that that's the reason I actually like to use the touch screen is that you can actually have this um, people play around with it right on the actual device but I am going to show you that I um, can also access this remotely uh, as long as I know the address of the Pi which um, I do happen to know. It was 192.168.1.11. Uh, and so this is that same home page. Um, so that's the, this link's nice to use on the Pi for taking the photo, but for viewing the photos, this is um, kind of nice to be able to do it on a remote driver and I can kind of look in any of the files and kind of click on it to see you know which ones are most current. I just did a bunch of these so that there'd be some examples. And I have this little delete function that lets you kind of get rid of um, one if you don't want it there anymore. Um, so it's kind of a nice little interface, and I have fun playing around with this um, with the kids and, and whatnot. Um, and so anyway, let, let's go over a little more detail of how you can get this done, how we can do this. I have this document which I will share with you. Um, they, so I talked about how we um, have to ch mod um, that directory for making it writable we, and readable. And we also have to do that to wherever you're going to store your photos. Um, I happen to be storing them um, in a subfolder called CAM, for short for camera. And they, if you have Apache running, this is the 
area where you can um, Apache is accessible and so then I made a subdirectory in there and like I said there's um, three PHP pages that are needed actually only two of them need to be PHP pages the home page doesn't they're just a couple of links on the home page um, one goes to the camera page which triggers the Raspberry Pi camera to take a photo and um, one to the gallery page which displays all the previous photos taken. Um, the exact call is um, what we're going to use in PHP and this allows us to run any terminal command from the web browser which is pretty cool. So like I said the index page just has these two links um, one going to my camera.php one going to my gallery.php um, so the camera.php the core you know you could literally just have this and it would work uh, these three lines and what's going on here is this is uh, creating a command this if you were to type this in terminal this would take a photo and save it to this directory and this just specifies the size of the photo okay um, this escape thing is a PHP thing that just helps to take out any extraneous um, spaces or anything like that and then here's the actual command and what this does is uh, it does the it'll do the command um, anything that needs to be retrieved any errors or anything like that um, will be saved to these variables here um, I actually made it with a random name generator so that uh, otherwise, if, if I was to just leave it like this is here in this line, um, I would run into issues because the uh, I'd only save one image on top of the other. It wouldn't it would only have one image, and they would you know just constantly being saved on top of each other every time you called this file. Where I use this script here, and it creates a random name uh, um, saved to this random string variable, and then you will see how I've edited that command line to have the uh, random string .jpg um, so that way it's a new I can keep as many images as I want because these are going to be separate names and they won't write on top of each other um, this here is just uh, to display any errors if you should have any um, this actually is not totally necessary this random thing when I had it as just one name the file this was just to uh, make this part right here was to make sure that it displayed the last image that was uh, taken um, because sometimes you can have issues with images being cached in your uh, it won't hurt anything you can leave this in here if you don't want to edit it but this displays that image to the page um, so it takes the photo and displays the photo that it just took okay so then if you go back to your home page and then you go to your gallery.php page I have some script there that I'm not going to go into all in I mean, I'm not going to go over all the details, but basically what it does is it displays um, the last image at the top of the page in a larger size, and then there's a gallery of thumbnails below it. When you click on the thumbnails, it shows it at the larger size at the top of the page. It's basically how that works. Um, pretty simple code, pretty straightforward. Uh, you should be able to um, use this and replicate it just as I have and have some fun with your own little uh, photo gallery. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I hope this is helpful. And as always, please subscribe. We'll uh, leave it with uh, one more photo here. So you click on the button. Light comes on, takes a photo. It should take us to our page when it's done. There we go. Nice.